Hi all, today's video is all about the library folder. Very often you need to get to the library folder to delete a preference or to simply uh, fix an application that's not working. Unfortunately, the library folder is hidden and a lot of people aren't quite sure where it's located. Well, first, the library folder is usually located in a couple of different areas. One is at the root of the hard drive. So here is my hard drive called Yosemite and here is the library folder. You can see the path right here in this little icon. If you want to get an icon like this on your window, simply right click or control click uh, this gray bar here, customize toolbar, and look for the path. Just drag it and drop it, and then you'll have that ability when you click on a folder or a file to see exactly where it's located on your machine. It's a little helpful tip anyway. Uh, the library folder is hidden. So in order to see it, there's a couple of different ways to get to different library folders. Most of the time, what you're really going to need is to get to the library folder that's in the user folder or the user account. A real easy way is to hold down the option key on your keyboard, go up to the Go menu, and suddenly you're going to see the library appear. If you click on it, that is the library folder. So even if it's hidden, it's a quick way to get to it. Uh, just to show you how that works again, I'm holding the option key up and down and you can see how it suddenly appears. Pretty cool feature, uh, but it does bring you to a different library folder than I want, the one I showed you earlier. This one is actually in my user folder, which is normally the one that you need to get to because those are the ones that have the preference files. Here you can see your caches if you want to delete them manually. Uh, that's always a good thing that if you have um, a system that's not working properly, you want to get rid of some of the cache files, you can just drag them out of here and delete them. Uh, also, the preference files are in here. And so you can also delete a preference, and usually those things will get recreated on Reboot. And also the preference panes, which sometimes you want to get rid of a control panel. Uh, a lot of times you'll find them in here. Uh, that might be in the root of the folder. As you can see, I have none on the user folder here. Uh, there is another way to get to the library folder. I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, let's go into our user account. So I'm just going to go to library. So it's going to just bring me to the library folder. And let's get to the user admin. So now I'm in the admin user account, which is usually the name that you log into on your computer. I am now going to go to view and show view options. And as you can see, show library folder is now showing up. That will permanently turn it on in my user folder so I won't have to really search for it in the future. I like to keep it on. Some people don't. It's up to you. Um, you will not see this option to show library folder unless you're actually in the user account folder. So that's the only way that it will work. So keep that in mind when you're working uh, that uh, you have the user account folder open. And I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. And there you could see Show Library Folder. It'll be a default after you do that. If you're wondering how I just zoomed in and out, um, I'm using my Option Command and my plus and minus sign at, at the same time. So it's always a good thing to know how to do that. All right, hope you enjoyed. Library folders are important to fix applications that don't work properly. And they're really great uh, to delete caches. But there's lots of reasons why you might need to get to it. Uh, just be careful uh, because you really don't want to delete things that you need. Thanks for listening. And if you like my channel, please subscribe.